I'm Sir Tap Tap, and let's play Treachery in Beatdown City by New Challenger. Um, this game has an active Kickstarter, unless you're watching this a couple weeks in the future. Winners don't mash buttons. They're very serious about that. This game, somewhat oddly, is a turn-based brawler. So you might think it looks a lot like uh, River City Ransom. That's obviously pretty intentional. The name seems to be a pretty clear uh, riff on that. So the way it works is you have combos that you string together in this combo menu, you know, in a turn-based thing. And you use those FP, you know, and you have up to three attacks. And as you you can watch that meter fill up there on the left. You get up to three attacks, so you basically generally want to uh, wait for that to fill up before you do it, try a combo. So let's... Oh, gotta get through the com... Or the... Also, if you use too much FP in a, in a combo, you know, you might have less than 60 left over. So you gotta be a bit strategic in how you use your combo attacks. The game's definitely a lot more about strategy than just, you know, as it says, mashing buttons. So, uh, I thought the combat would be a bit more like... Xenosaga, where you have, you know, it's sort of like this, where you have a... You combo attacks together. Oh no! Um, the game is an alpha, by the way, which is, you know, why it has a Kickstarter. I can't defend in the tutorial, or else it... I guess the game doesn't let me continue. Get for here. Why can't I attack you? Oh! There are also grapples. They require two bars of combo. So you can switch between sections, do a grab, and then, you know, special attacks you can only do after grappling. What I was kind of expecting was, you know, you would have a combo menu like we do, um, and, you know, you would have, like, square does weak attack, X does, you know, stronger attack, circle does, you know, super mega strong attack that wastes tons of FP. Um, turns out that's not quite how it works. Um, and there are also real-time quick attacks. Can we drink some soda? Yes, we can! There's definitely an SNES, or an original Nintendo, not SNES, um, vibe going on with the graphics. Not quite NES accurate, but, uh, I still don't think it is. Like, there's a lot of colors. I'm not sure, like, I think you only get four colors per sprite on NES, right? I keep not pressing when there's no text. Like, not advancing. So we got the story here. There are three different playable characters, a lightweight, a medium weight, and a heavyweight. We're playing as the medium weight, probably the only one coded for right now, because, you know, alpha build only for press and all of that crap. We do move a bit slow, but uh, as you'll see once we get out of, you know, the tutorial, it makes more sense in context. context. Options. I was told I would want to quick save here. Um, save cursor. Yeah, I'm not sure if it is. I guess we have options. And we got a party. What do you have to say? I don't care about you. It's our not random encounter. Alright, so we got a generic punk over here. Gonna punch his stupid face in. Excuse me, sir. I'll mix it up here. Parker. Right. Okay, Parker, get down. Um... Blocking is safe on the screen. So you gotta generally wait until your meter fills up, and then you wanna, you know, strike at him. Strike grapple. Well, that does good damage. If I just wait, will my FP restore over time? Damn it! You take more damage if you, uh, if you're hit from behind, and so. Try to just dodge this guy. As you can see, like in the more confined space, your um, low speed doesn't matter as much. And there are status effects. As you can see, I'm currently blind, which is very helpful. There we go. Oh man, you're still alive. I fear to be dead. The real time attacks are not very useful. Also, even though it looks like he's way behind you, yeah, they teleport to hit you. I'm not sure if that's um, 
like a like a alpha problem or if that's you know completely intentional but uh just because he's attacking and he's not right next to you um doesn't mean he can't hurt you so I'm sure there'll be more gameplay refinements you know it's an alpha but it's definitely an interesting idea with the uh you know the menu based combos get over here there we go now we have a combos tab Try the stabs combo. Yes, hello. You get down. I do kind of wish we had a run. Do we have a run? We don't have a run. No, we can't go backwards. That's hardcore. Strictly linear progression. And again, as a reminder, this is like totally alpha. This is so alpha I had to um, install PlayStation Mobile um, software development kit. Parker, come on! Okay, hold, hold on. I have to operate here. Okay, I just realized I am probably going to die. Um, not only am I bleeding, I my health did not restore between combat. I don't know how you restore health in this game. I kind of assume you... I guess you use items like the chicken. Oh, 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 let's beat up that mailbox. There might be some turkey in there. It's a it's a beat em up, don't question. No, there was a there's a Chicago hot dog in there. Excellent. You see, video games teach you real life lessons. Like, if you're ever dying in the street, punch a mailbox. There might be a Chicago hot dog in there, and it'll restore the majority of your health. Well not the majority, but quite a bit. Oh, I meant to use that combo. But yeah, if um if what we're seeing is accurate here, and there's only three items per menu. Which might, there might not be. Um, it really would be cool to see. That wasn't too amazing. Um, but it was quick. Very quick. Um, it would be nice to see. It seems actually pretty overpowered. He's learned leg kick. It would be nice to see, like, just press buttons to input a command. Like, in Xenosaga, you'd be like, Okay, um, I'll press square X triangle, and that will do the specific set of commands every time. And that was pretty fast. I'm gonna... How do I menu? Oh, I guess I have to be in combat to menu. Surprise, it doesn't heal me. I'm not sure how healing works in this. Wait. How did I enter that menu before? Aw, oh, damn it. The problem with running, of course, is that leaves you open, and you can only turn around, you can't turn around and block, so... If they start attacking from behind, you are at a significant disadvantage. Oh, there are multiple pages. Wait, how did... Oh, no, that's in a different menu entirely. Wait, no, what? Oh, 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 never mind, I'm dumb. So yeah, there are more than three. Oh, yes! I like the- I like the status effects, um, does that tell you that? Yeah. Alright, that's cool. I like the status effects, um, I wasn't really sure how the turn-based brawling would work out, but, uh, it's pretty interesting. I would like, at least, um, there may be too many options to, like, map every attack to a thing. But what would definitely be cool is at least, like, mapping, um, quick attacks so you can map, like, three different buttons, like, square is necessary to do, um, to, you know, confirm your action. But if you can be like, okay, I'm gonna bind X to, um, use whatever attack and then, you know, have an automatic combo I can do. I guess the real time's meant for, you know, punching this stuff. Pick that up, yeah. Delicious floor chicken. Oh, right. Real-time attacks, not for actual enemies. Uh, they're for, you know, destroying scenery for food. So don't, don't do what Donnie Don't does. I'm Donnie Don't right now. It's a metaphor for the human condition. 
I'm blind. I'm not sure what the circle or the C thing is. That was dumb. It, you can execute combos too far away. Enemies cannot. Let's try and inflict slow. Yeah, we completely failed to inflict slow. Damn it, I just was about to attack. I did not mean to do nothing. But the status effects definitely make this interesting. I was not really expecting status effects. I guess I should have, considering, you know, turn-based, like, RPG brawler. Very interesting mix of stuff here. Movement's a bit slower than I expected. At least learned the uppercut. We seem to have some form of level up. Okay, oh. Why do I press square to open? I'm not sure what platforms this is on, by the way. It's playing on um, PlayStation Mobile at the moment, but that's um, there's other platforms. I'll throw it's it's in the description, guys. They'll be and the Kickstarter. Hmm. Do I have? No, I have no items. Oh, I wonder if this is how we get items. Oh, no, it just heals us. Okay, I can deal with that. I like the sort of board, um, you know, board game thing, um, you know, in the, the map. Well, let's beat this chick up. I'm not sure how the team thing works, like, oh, I'm using normal attacks on, shouldn't do that. Whoa, nice! Oh wow, that... Costs a lot of FP, doesn't it? The combos seem a bit cheap in that, um... They give you good FP recovery. And I can't do anything. Oh, holy! What?! Ow! They give you good FP recovery and, uh, keep your enemy down for a second. Oh, no they don't. No, but the uppercut definitely... Puts them down. Ow! Oh, the red numbers, when they hit you in the back, that really hurts, don't let them do that. Why? Oh, you have to use... You have to press the normal attack to, uh, pick some up. My shields are broken! Damn it. I just got those fixed. Damn it. I wish they had some sort of visible indication of when they're about to attack. What sad effect is that? Um... That would allow me to, like, at least stop and be like, hey, I should turn around. What? How is that behind me? I guess quick attacks, wait, do they cost FP? No, they don't. Okay, so quick attacks are good for getting back your FP. Stunned? Crap. And I'm dead. Probably wasn't supposed to warp past her, but you know, pre-release alpha and all that. So treasure... Ah, You're gonna eat that chicken, aren't you? Oh well. Uh... Oh! Maybe this is like the intended go back point. Well, let's try to beat her up and we'll call that a video. To be honest, it's better than I thought it would be. Like, I, I, I wasn't sure how it would work out. Um, works better than I thought. I do... Wish I could string together combos with, you know, a series of button presses, you know, not mashing, but, you know, a series of known button presses. Get back here. There we go. Actually, I want to do that uppercut again. Not chicken. Oh, you can use chicken in combat. Interesting. I figured it'd be like a item menu only thing. Wait, where is... Oh, it's on a different page or something. That is so satisfying, you don't even know. What? Cooldowns? Interesting. So a very strategic brawler then. I was not expecting cooldowns at all. Yeah, the way quick attacks work is if you have extra bars, like if you have free bars but no um, FP, use a... Uh... Oh, that's what... Wait, no, it's not. I don't know what the circle thing is then. Oh well. That B sound is me pausing the game, by the way. 
Needs to land the mid kick. I'm not sure if there's. There doesn't seem to be experience. I think we just learn new stuff as the game progresses. Oh wow, we lost no health after healing. Alright, one more fight. I want to use that new ability. Though we probably learn a new ability every time, so I can't continue forever, but still. I'm definitely interested, and there's definitely too many attacks, like... I was wrong about there only being like three attacks, there's definitely too many... attacks to map everything, but I still... I don't know, I think it could be cool to be like... Oh crap. Why, why do I start with low FP? Do I always do that? Oh well. Ow. I don't want to miss this. <laughs> that sound effect is great too, it's very satisfying. Crap. Crap. I need my FP, go away! Punch his mailbox. Oh hey, health back. A health- a friggin' health kit heals as much as street chicken. That's video games for you. I can't decide if I'm, I like this, the walking speed or not, but uh, it, it fits the methodic um, strategy style of the game, I guess. The combat's definitely better than I thought it would be. I do wish there were some sort of dash for when you've beaten the level, or just, you know... Like, because walking at the normal, the normal combat speed, it's alright in combat, but you know, when just traversing... It's a bit slow for that. <laughs> I love that. It is so good. Sucks that as a cooldown, but whatever. You're about to attack, I know. See, I guess... I think they have a cooldown. And if you get a feel for that, you'll, you know, be able to know when they're about to attack. Like that. It's probably how it works. And once you get a feel for enemies, or maybe they just all have the same cooldown, in fact. Um, oh, and you only drain um, your bar there if you uh, if you actually connect to them. What's the metal pick do? Eh, it won't tell me. What's metal kick inflict? Ah, 360 D-pad. Hate you. Um, weak! Come on, weak! Be weak! I want to see what the weak icon is. Aw, oh, you suck. You with your... How was that a back attack on me? You were... Whatever. I'm just gonna kill you. You see, when we're at this point where I've cleared the level, I would appreciate some sort of run button, or just exit the level. I'm not sure why I need to walk all the way down. I mean, I, it definitely, it's a throwback to, um, classic brawlers, but it sort of harms the pace, in my opinion. It's a more methodical game than, you know, most brawlers, but still. A bit slow. I'll just, I'll hit this guy until I get weak. A weak effect, because I want to see that, and then we'll take a, well, we'll end the video. Why is weak so hard to inflict? Is it, like, super powerful or something? It does not work well. That or it just doesn't have an icon, maybe? I don't know. Oh well. You suck, Ugly John. That was Throwdown and Beatdown City. Check out the Kickstarter if you are so inclined. 